Hello, welcome to our next principles vlog. Um, and we're here today talking about revision and revision techniques because all of our first year students are just about to do their end of year exams uh, next week. And obviously our second year students are leading up to the real money time of uh, completing all of their final examinations and, and these, these big moments that are gonna determine what you're gonna do uh, with the rest of your lives. So who better to give us some advice on that than some of our top performing students at the college at the moment. Uh, we've got Abby, Mia, Abdullah and Amelia, who have very kindly agreed to give us some of their best advice about how to go about it. So uh, we'll get straight into it. Um, so uh, Abby, let's start with you. Uh, how do you revise? Um, personally, I'd say my maps and then putting things onto Quizlet, because if you break things down, then it's easier to remember in small um, amounts of information for large information courses. OK, so what's Quizlet? Um, so basically it's an app that you can get um, and you just like make flashcards online. It's really easy to use and it's really effective. Sounds brilliant. Yeah. Um, I'd say doing past questions and giving it to my teachers and then they'd give me feedback and then I can, I can improve on it. So I'll always just do questions on every single topic. <laughs> How do you do that? I mean... Well, we get like booklets and there's always like a page of questions of each topic and I'll just do as much of those as I can. And have all of your teachers always been happy to mark them? Yeah, they have been happy, but um, and they always get them back to me on time, so it's good to have the feedback. Very good. Abdullah? Well, I feel like the best way to revise is, first of all, get all the information in, and once you've got that, then implement it and write it down. And you can do that by writing, doing past paper questions, and I feel like, because once you do that, it's like, because with subjects that I do, you have to memorise a lot of stuff, so it helps you memorise and it keeps it in the mind so you don't forget. So getting all that content sorted first, very good. And Amelia? I like to use like posters and highlighting key concepts and terms with colour so it stands out. So when I'm in an exam, I think about that poster and like, oh, that's that colour. So then I can relate it that way. Brilliant. OK, so I think there's kind of three steps that the, uh, the students have talked about there. First of all, it's about getting that content together, making sure you've brought together all of your notes. Uh, you've got the whole specification covered and you've got all of that material in a, in a logical, ordered fashion. Right. Get that, that folder sorted, first of all. Uh, then it's about doing practice, doing loads of those questions, doing something with that material, turning it into quizlets, turning it into posters so that it goes into your mind. And then finally, it's about getting that feedback, actually doing the skill and getting the feedback on, going it, on whether it's effective or not. And teachers are really helpful for giving you that feedback. But also your peers, I think, can be really helpful for giving you that feedback as well. Get together in little study partnerships and kind of share your work and test each other on it. Excellent. Now... So that's how you revise. Possibly as important is how you kind of cope with the whole stressful thing that is these final examinations. So um, back to the panel here. Have we got any uh, kind of key ideas about how to manage the stress? Uh, Amelia, shall we start with you? Um, I think if you stress, just talk to people because it gets a weight off your shoulders that you may didn't even know you had, but it can just help sometimes. Yeah. Brilliant. So have you actually done that? Then? I have, yeah. My mum's had a lot of um, conversations with me <laughs> about stress and just calming down a little bit. So, yeah. Brilliant. So if you're, uh, if, if you're getting yourself in a bit of a panic, stop. Stop what you're doing. Go and talk to someone about it. Get it off your chest. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, um, my best way to manage uh, stress is by making sure that the mind is... Um, is it's not always focused on study so what i do is i divide my study time i study for 45 minutes and take a 20 20 and take a 20 minute break after that because the human mind is like a sponge so it can only absorb two, so, uh, a certain amount of information at one time so you need to give it a break and that keeps it from getting stress brilliant so just short bits of activity and then take a break do something completely different get kind of fresh and then come back at it again fantastic mia I'd say like not setting yourself massive targets like do like little bits of the topic at the time and then like do that in short bursts rather than trying to fit in a whole worth of subject in like half an hour like do like little bits at a time so that keeps me calm <laughs> so setting achievable goals ticking them off and then setting another one rather than just going ah i've got to revise everything yeah. marvelous and happy i'd say take the pressure off yourself a bit by creating a revision timetable and um, it's very helpful it helps you organize how to do everything when you have to do it so you don't have to think about it um, but you should make sure to set yourself breaks as well. That's important. And do you find that you stick to your revision timetable? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Generally, yeah. 
Excellent. Right, so, okay, so we talked about how to revise. We've talked about how to manage some of the stress. Have we got any other top tips about how to be successful at this key period? Who's going to go for anything else? Um, I'd say, because I make a lot of flashcards, but I'd say in first year especially, start making the flashcards as you go along. So when it get, because that's what I did, and then when it got to, like, now, like the Easter half term, I looked in my drawer and I had all the flashcards written. So, like, it takes more time to write them rather than to learn them. So like first year, get your stuff sorted. <laughs> Brilliant. So if you're on two year linear courses, you've got to be revising throughout the whole period. And if you're doing those first year exams, that is a big part of the reason why we ask you to do first year exams, is to make sure you've got all of that first year's content absolutely in the bag before you go into the second year. So that's a great tip. That's essential. Any other top tips? I've got ones that similar to uh, similar to hers, but my top tip is that don't uh, slack off in the beginning of the year. So what you should do is like what I did in the first year was whatever topic I studied, I went home and just read over it once. That really helped me memorize it, and so when I came back to it, I knew what I was uh, studying. So it helped a lot because uh, the course is divided throughout two years, and it's too much to uh, do it all uh, in the end at two in two months. So that's what I did. Absolutely, yeah. Um, if you're doing A-level courses, they are a marathon, not a sprint. It's absolutely about that consistent progress throughout the two years. Fantastic. Any final tip we want to give to the good people? Um, I'd say still do what you enjoy while revising because otherwise it's just going to be a kind of like a daunting period for you. So still do like your 30 minutes of what you enjoy. So saying if you like to go to the gym, do that. But then just go back to your revision later because it can clear your head that way. Yeah. Any last one? Um, I'd probably say little and often is the key thing really um, because if you do it um, in small amounts often then you're going to retain the information better. Very good. Right, so it is a really challenging period. You know, for those of you who are in your second year and you're doing these final examinations, they are some of the most significant and challenging exams you're going to do in your life, right? We can't dress that up. But our fantastic panel here have given some really, really good advice about both how to do the revision process and how to manage the stress. If you need any help with any of that, please do talk to your tutor, talk to your subject teachers. If you can't find any of them, come and talk to me um, uh, because we need to make sure that we give you that support so that you can approach this and do your very best. Good luck, everyone, and uh, I'll see you shortly. <laughs>